Yo, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Raw, coming at you raw. I hope your day is all well, and God bless you for stopping by. Now, please, if you're here, drop a like on this video. Pressing that like button really does support me and help this video out. Thank you. Also, please subscribe here for more gaming news from console to PC and maybe even tablets and phones. Now, let's get on with video. All right, look, this is my Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare review. And and let me say this, you know what I mean? I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this out right now. I wanted to hate this game. Now, this game was developed by the guys over there by in Infinity Ward. And, you know, that's the team who did Modern Warfare, but the people in that team, you know what I mean, they kind of separated and created uh, another uh, company, Respawn Entertainment, which are working on Titanfall and also the new Star Wars game later down the line. But, yeah, you know, with this team, I guess the skeleton of themselves from Modern Warfare team, you know, People were thinking this game was gonna be a little bit sad and a lot of parts of this game is a little bit sad You know what I mean? I'm gonna explain is it a buy a pass or a rent and I'm gonna explain that uh, Throughout the video so stay tuned now Just off the bat the story. I want to talk about the story. I enjoyed the story um, really movie triple a developed story graphics were amazing the sounds and also the characters you played this uh commander reyes but he was a, a navy flight pilot before he became a commander you know and he takes command of this big old fat ship in the sky and you know people it, it, i wanted to spoil it just now but i'm not going to spoil it in this review this is not going to be a spoiler review i'm just telling you how i feel about the story playing all through it it was very entertaining very fun and i enjoyed myself the story was clear from start to finish you knew what you were doing you knew why you were doing it it wasn't no mm, no inception watch it three times to make sure you understand it so i i really do enjoy it because of that you know but as far as the replayability of the story, I ended up doing all the side quests and everything. I really have no reason to go back in there but to maybe do uh, achievement hunting, right? But other than that, the story is on point. Now, before I go to multiplayer, I want to talk about zombies. Zombies is another mode in this game. Is 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 based. Uh, it's really funky, you know what I mean? It looks like some Scooby-Doo type uh, uh, animation when it comes on, you know what I mean? And also, it, it has it has that that old school arcade uh, feeling, because when you die, you actually go to the arcade and you play ball on whatever the arcade games are to get back into the game if you die. So that mini game in the game is actually pretty cool. And it just feels so smooth, the zombies mode. And, and I really didn't enjoy Black Ops 3 zombies, but this zombies mode actually was pretty fun. Let me say this, um, the multiplayer, before we get into this, you know what I mean? The multiplayer in this game is why people will continue playing it. You know, zombies, in my opinion, I probably will get tired after like a few playthroughs and the campaign I feel like my longevity is finished in a way because I care not for the trophies or achievements if you're on Xbox but you know what I mean uh, it's there I believe Black Ops 3's campaign had more replayability since it had co-op in it but the multiplayer right uh, let me say this those of you who played the beta you know what I mean and didn't like it you might not like it here either because they did not change the things that people were complaining about. The time to kill is still super uh, low. You know, you shoot. You, and, and the sad thing is, you shoot somebody, they turn around. They getting hit. You see the hit markers. They turn around, shoot you a few seconds, and you dead. So they they really need to fix that. It, I'm, it might be a connection issue, but you know, it was a little bit sad. You know, when you get killed like that, you shooting someone and they turn around and kill you. Yeah, it should be like CSGO, right? Where if I see you and shoot you first, you're dead. If they're gonna do it like that, if they're gonna do it like that, they should do it like that. Um, the multiplayer has a lot of modes. I enjoy Defender, the keep away mode, and the team deathmatch, and also the capture the flag. And, and, and then there's kill confirm. You're, you know, your Call of Duty staples are here in the multiplayer, and the progression system is pretty uh, cool. Um, I enjoyed playing the machine. He's synaptic. I think that's what his name is, the machine rig, because in multiplayer you deal with rigs. Instead of classes, it's rigs, and these rigs give you certain and specific abilities. But yeah, you know what I mean? Um, that's 
the multiplayer in a nutshell. Like I said, if you did not enjoy the beta, you might not enjoy this. But going back to the whole entire package, I wanted to hate this game. And let me say this, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a solid game, you know what I mean? It's a solid game for $60. $60. Call of Duties are always solid. It's just the longevity of the game. Will you enjoy playing this game into the next year, right? And one thing about the multiplayer before I forget, right? If you are a sweaty, hardcore, competitive man, okay, or female, no discrimination, you may like this game a lot as far as the multiplayer goes because it's very competitive. Um, the fact that you have to make sure your 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 point is on people so you can kill them and and, and and jumping and all that junk. My whole thing is if you got all those bunny rabbit jumping, you better have a time to kill like Halo, right? Like back in the Halo days, you had a shield to, to hammer at and then you had their life to hammer at. You know what I mean? If Call of Duty had that time to kill, I think it'll be a better game for it. But other than that, I think that if you are a Call of Duty fan, you will continue to like this um, going forward. Uh, it has Modern Warfare if you want to. Uh, buy the $80 version, which I would advise not to because my whole thing is look, that version might be a standalone later this holiday season. You know, hey, buy a Modern Warfare for 40 and then you saved uh, $40. You know what I mean? We, we don't know what they're going to do over there at Infinity War Activision. But at this point, I played the whole campaign, played a lot of the multiplayer, played a lot of the zombies, and I can say it's a decent game. As far as a buy, rent, our pass, I would say it's a rent. It's a solid rent if you like the guys who didn't like the beta. You should give it a try. You know, rent the final game and see if you want to buy it or not because at the end of the day, you know, if friends will make it better. Friends will make anything better actually. Uh, people will, will make any experience better in gaming. But going back to the, the rent, I'm placing a rent on this. This is a solid rent, right? I wouldn't say pass because the campaign is just so good. It's, it's, it's tight. I like it. The, the graphics and, and, and all the, it is the clear messaging. I tip my head off to them. And the zombies is actually pretty fun. But like I said, the replayability is low for me. But it's a solid rent, I would say. But if you're a hardcore Call of Duty fan, you're going to buy it regardless of what I say. But yeah, that is my review, my overview, if anything, of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Have you played it? Did you mess with it? Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching it. If you watching this video, if you're sticking through, if you're he's still here, right? Thank you. You know, I appreciate those guys who stayed through the whole thing and right in the comment section made it to the end. But that's all she wrote. This has been raw. Coming at you raw. Pieces. Resolution versus frame rate. Yes, sir. Resolution versus frame rate. So, um, so I, yeah. So resolution versus frame rate. I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I mean, similar to what I was saying with the graphics versus gameplay uh, stuff as well. There's always going to be the ideal is to have a balance between the two, and I think that's always going to be, in my in my view, anyway, the the, the quote uh, right answer.